All right, well, we just finished up the soybean field here, and I think it'd be a great time now, Robert, to talk about the importance of grain quality and, and do a little grain quality check. Yeah, absolutely. What better time than, you know, we finished up, we're getting ready to go to the next field and, and really show what the Gleaner Combine can do. So let's take a look at what we got. Well, I think before that, let's talk about the importance of that good grain quality, especially in a crop like soybeans here. Right. Um, we're trying to chase some premium markets, let's say, um, if we're raising some seed beans, for example. Right. And studies have shown that if I have over 8% of that bin sample is 8% splits and cracks, after an accelerated aging test, that's showing a germination percentage of only 78% that next year, which isn't very good. So I think let's show um, exactly what percent of splits and cracks uh, we ended up with uh, after doing this field. But talk to us a little bit about the natural flow processor and how that uh, can help us with that grain quality. Yeah, right, so Jason, that's part of what really makes a gleaner a gleaner. And we talk about our great bin samples and grain quality and all that stuff, but how do we do it? And we use the natural flow processor. It's the design of the combine. And when we bring that crop into the combine, right, we bring it into the width that it's going to enter into the processor, which is that 39 inches. And then that crop material makes two and a half passes through our processor never changing direction it's just a natural flow that's where the mm -hmm. name comes from right and we bring it through there so we're not twisting turning less damage to the crop right and then we get into the cleaning portion of it we have distribution augers accelerator rolls that really are shooting that grain down nice and level onto the shoe at a speed about four times of gravity drop, right? Yep. And at that point, we have a blast of air that comes across there and it blows all the light material out before it ever gets down onto the grain pan. And then once we get there, it goes across the shoe and it's like every other combine. But how we get to that point is how we get a clean bin sample also without damaging the grain, right? So we're very, very gentle on the crop, so. Okay, all right, well, hey. Heart that, and soul that, of Gleaner, man. That's all fine and dandy, but let's prove it. So, uh, all right. where's Aaron? Uh, Aaron, uh, Aaron's gonna come here with a sample from the field that we just harvested and show us uh, how to do this quality check and what we ended up with for splits and cracks. So yeah, so. There's a couple ways you can do this, but the easiest one that we've got here is our hand pans or hand sieves that we're gonna pour, pour a portion of this sample in. We're gonna measure out a little bit and then we're gonna kind of weigh how much cracks and splits are in this and kind of just do a, a fraction uh, of exercise as far as the percentage of, of cracks and splits. So the first thing we need to do is, is get our 125 grams of soybeans. Again, this is a process that, that really Oklahoma State is who originated this or where we got the information from. So we're gonna measure out 125 grams. All right, 125 grams. So now we're gonna take this 125 gram sample, pour it into our three layers. We got three layers of sieves here, one, two, and three. We got, we're gonna take that sample, shake it back and forth about 20 times. Okay, and then we're gonna kinda look in here on the top, and we're gonna see if we can find any of the, maybe the cracks and splits that we missed out on. And you can come in here and see this. You can kinda see these are whole beans that are sitting on top of the screen. If we move this aside, you can kinda see those cracks and splits that are gonna happen. Now, you gotta consider the fact that these are 9% beans. If they, they are very dry, and very susceptible to cracking. So if you had any other piece of equipment that doesn't have the natural flow processor that has a feeder impeller, a rotor that's really more aggressive, you can see how this is gonna affect a very dry, uh, easily damaged soybean. Yeah, the, the other part of this too, Aaron, is the way we unload out of the bin as well. That's right. And our simple design on the unloading system and we're not changing direction of the crop there either. So this is what got in the combine and then you got to get it into the truck, right? Yep. Not the same. So we have really two things on our combine that, that help out. Help that out in, yep. absolutely. So we're gonna take this amount and we're gonna dump this into the cup here and everything's in there and we're gonna measure how, how much and we've got three grams and if we take three grams of cracks and split and divide that by 125, it was 2.4%. So 2.4% damage of cracks and splits. Again, that's pretty low considering a, a pretty 
pretty dry bean that's very susceptible to any kind of cracks right. or splits. And then we could go the next step of that and look at the, the seed coating and see any kind of damage to that by soaking that in coffee, doing we our need coffee a, test. Yeah, we need a hot cup of coffee That's out right. here this afternoon. Because anytime you crack that out seed, outer seed coating, you're going to create that that same issue of about, as far as germination, low germination rate that seed growers are looking for. Yep. yep. So again, this is the, the the benefit, the beauty of the natural flow Floating. processor and the direct flow and loading auger system. All right. I'd All right. say it looks good. Let's go to the next field. Yep. All right. Great. <laughs> 